listening to you that is listening. I know, right? You missed us, but <laughs> <laughs> it's the August edition of the Missing Link. And um, the Missing Link is a drive of the hearts to build initiative and um they want to make sure that young people from the ages of 16 to 35 have a holistic development. Victor H. A. is my name, and this is Flow 94.9 FM, the flow of God's own state. Hello, in the studio this <laughs> evening. With me in the studio is Mrs. Onye Raf Wachuku, a media personnel and one of the founders of the Hats to Build Youth Development Initiative. Ma'am, you're welcome. Oh, good to be back in the studio again. Good evening, listeners, and thank you, Victoria. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, so our guest today is... Um, is someone that has great reputation mm -hmm. and um, someone that would really, 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 really look out for the youth. Now, um, she is a communication expert and a specialist and also an administrator and executive director at the Econ Round Education Center. She's passionate about grooming a generation of great Nigerians who will redefine the nation mm -hmm. and the world at large. A believer of the rights of everyone and a defender of the rights of the most vulnerable amongst us. And yes, yes, she is phenomenal at what she does. Please help me. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Let's welcome Dame Ibim. Seminatari. Ma, you're welcome. Thank you so very much. It's well, good to be on the program. <laughs> she almost beat her tongue, trying to pronounce your name. <laughs> well, I hope I got the name, Seminatari. You did. <laughs> you did. You did. You did. You did. You, you, you quickly got round to it. <laughs> we have to learn this thing. We have to. She it's has, good to have, have you, man. You have some confidence. I, I try. I <laughs> Lots try. of confidence. <laughs> I try. Thank I'd be you good so to much. have you. I'd be good to have you here. Thank you, Annie. Good right. to be there. Thank you, ma. Um, um, we have a whole lot today, but we're focusing on something. Mm -hmm. Now, this topic, mm -hmm. um, topic is something that goes round, like building confidence and self esteem i want to lay emphasis on the word building mm -hmm. building and that means that somehow you just look at someone and you say ah you lack confidence so <laughs> eh? <laughs> it, it's some, something like that i, I think your <laughs> self-esteem is low that's mm -hmm. why you're reacting mm -hmm. that way that way yeah so i'm going to go straight so that we can open the phone lines because i know a lot of people are itching to hear what you have to say concerning this topic ma'am so mm. i'm going to ask you why do we need to build confidence and self-esteem well you know the, the thing first is to say why do we even need to have it like you said um self-esteem is is really about how do you see yourself how do you view yourself um how do you trust your abilities okay how do you even respect yourself Okay, so um, do you have confidence in your abilities? Do you think that you're able to do things? Are you happy with how you look, for instance? Are you worried about how you look? You know, it's keeping it very simple and breaking it down to those things that end up making people um, uh, insecure and uncertain of themselves and therefore unable to make progress. So when you ask why do we need to build self-esteem, it's for those reasons. Why do we need to build confidence? It's for those reasons. You know, a lot of people, because they do not have either self-esteem or what they are not confident in their own abilities or themselves, you find them shining away. You find people who have capacity to do all kinds of great things, not meeting their, you know, their potentials, shying away from being all that they can be because they lack self-confidence because they lack self-esteem you find people accepting all kinds of abuse mm. verbal abuse physical abuse because they're not confident in themselves so a lot of our people who suffer from violence against girls against boys against women domestic violence against men <laughs> against men too you know i said boys so men too you know really all of this is really a question of self-esteem mm -hmm. 
how about when people are not able to speak up okay in an office or you are afraid you go to an interview i know the story of someone who immediately she sits before white people she starts shivering okay mm. so she's unable to do well in interviews i'm mean, a very brilliant student very good girl who could do so much but she's unable to make progress because she sits with once that interviewer is any color other than her, the color of her skin or speaks in a different way immediately she forgets everything she knows wow hmm. so that's how bad it can be when you you know when you lose confidence or something so it's something that is critical honestly for our growth when you're talking about personal growth professional growth or even in our families or even in our long lives mm-hmm. in our relationships mm-hmm. when you lack self-esteem and self-confidence people can dump down on you you accept anything <laughs> and it <Yeah>. goes <laughs> anything okay. goes okay ma'am um, i'm going to be direct um are you saying that um confidence and self-esteem is not um a full come are you saying that um maybe as i'm growing up right now um that i have to to build it like is, is it not inside me is confidence and self-esteem not inside every one of us you know you know sometimes we think it is but it is not exactly the socialization that we give to children growing up can affect their self-esteem mm-hmm. okay the way we raise our children so you find that you know people let me again come back to our african culture if you think back maybe before this generation or my generation or generations before then if somebody was a color that is lighter mm. it meant the person was better Hmm. <laughs> you, if you think about it, you find that many of our parents in those they were so subservient to, to anybody that, and I'm sorry I'm going racial, but to anybody that had that color of skin, the person could never do wrong. Hmm. And you find that that is affecting us today in Nigeria. When we have a problem in Nigeria, so let's go let America come and help us solve our problem. It's well. Hmm. Is it? Yes. Yes, we have a problem in police that say, ah, can we go and go to the UK? We solve a problem in Nigeria, created by Nigeria. So you find that it is in our socialization. How we socialize our children and our communities determine the self-esteem. That's why you hear them say, oh, certain people are more, uh, uh, um, you know, are more confident than others. Exactly. If you go to certain demographics, you will find that in certain uh, ethnic groups where the self mentality where you have feudal lords and self that it's different when you go to com- communities that are republican or egalitarian in nature where you hear somebody say ah, oh you are a big man for yourself now are you feeding me <laughs> do you see so self-esteem is really a question of how we're socialized oh. as younger people so you find some girls you find that if, if a girl grows up in a home where her parents don't care what the gender is Mm -hmm. that girl tends to be more self-confident and can say okay there's nothing i can't do Mm. and she can aspire to be anything all right okay whereas if a child grows up in a situation where keep quiet your girl don't talk i don't do like this they sit like that you can't play football Mm -hmm. don't you know your girl Mm -hmm. those girls like that grow up very self-conscious and just preparing for themselves to be the perfect wife to the perfect husband. <laughs> uh, where is the perfect okay. husband coming from? <laughs> Who doesn't have confidence in himself too? <laughs> Thank you very much, ma'am. Antonia, I'm going to ask you, uh, if this is the case, how can one build self-esteem and confidence? One, um, very, very interesting question. Just like Ivy said, it's not in our DNA. Nobody was born with confidence. You, it's something you do intentionally. You know, uh, you socialize with people, the kind of people you, you get around with. Who are your friends? You know, um, if you want to build your confidence, look at yourself whenever you finish taking your bath. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, I'm looking so beautiful today. I like the things I'm wearing. I'm looking so smashing. Hmm. Whatever you tell me, also doesn't matter. That thing I've told myself is what is important. Okay. One. Then two, mind the kind of people you relate with. Who are your friends? I mean, there, are, right. there are friends that can actually talk you down, make you feel like you're nothing. Mm-hmm. But there are persons, I know Ibi, Ibi is my friend, and we know how we talk to ourselves. Okay. And make your children, let, see, let's take it from the home. Make your children feel important. 
make them feel they are what who they are make them feel like queens and kings let it become let it let it be inside their you know psyche and they will go out feeling and speaking confidently and by the way how do you see yourself how do you talk then begin to look at people you see as mothers let's get let's get back to mentorship okay let's get back to mentorship ah you see this woman oh, the way she speaks she speaks with perfect conviction she exudes confidence she's convinced of what she's doing and you see the way she carries herself the way she even walks i mean when you see someone who walk into a studio <laughs> when you look at the person's steps you know if this person is confident or not so there are little, little things you see that tell if you're confident or not and the key word there is that you must be intentional about building confidence once you have the confidence certainly the other one is a giveaway okay oh. all right so um uh, ma'am i'm going to add um just to be clear you've worked with a lot of organizations and you've worked with um, different persons in uh -huh. your affair of life mm -hmm. and i want uh -huh. to find out what is that one thing that you spot in a person and you just say this person lacks or has low self-esteem you know it's interesting because it's not one thing mm -hmm. and i'll explain okay. why it All depends right. on each individual for some people when you see some people enter a room and they're very loud and, it's and you think because they're loud no, no, it means no, they're no, confident no, no. no. <laughs> that noise makes you see, <laughs> when you find so very loud people you're dealing with a, a problem of self-esteem mm -hmm. a problem of complex mm -hmm. a problem of confidence some other people are so withdrawn. Mm -hmm. You walk into a room and the person just hides, wants to literally be unnoticed. The person wants to be to disappear into the world. That too is a question of self-esteem. Okay. A question of confidence. So that's why I said it's not a one cap fits all. I just gave you two possible scenarios. Mm -hmm. Oh. You know, yes, or you find someone who is consistently eager to over please. Mm. walks into a room and she wants to or he wants to please everybody in the room <laughs> and I tell people I say you can't do that you're not ice cream <laughs> <laughs> vanilla or chocolate ice cream or lollipop <laughs> so you see so that's why I say depending on the situation mm -hmm. each of these actually are evidence that that person lacks self-esteem or lacks confidence mm -hmm. Mm. All right. Now, these two scenarios are, are beautiful. They are very clearly defined. So I just want to go straight and say, what are those questions one should ask the person self to say, this is how I will build my esteem? What are those ideal questions? Maybe if I'm lacking um, confidence, if I don't have self-esteem, Antony, what are those questions that I probably have to ask myself to identify how to deal with? with the lack of confidence in having or lack of self-esteem so one of the ways mm -hmm. to build your self-esteem as it only has talked about talking to yourself now a great part of it is reading mm -hmm. reading because the more knowledgeable you are and you know your subject so you walk into a place you read widely because for you to be able to take part in a conversation you have to know so one of the ways to build self-esteem self is to read widely. Mm -hmm. mm. So up yourself, be a sponge, get as much information and knowledge as you can. You can soak in. Ma, yeah. ma did you say be a sponge? Mm -hmm. Soak in. I, yes, I, be I've a not sponge. Not heard that before. <laughs> soak, soak, soak <laughs> as much as you can. As much <laughs> as you can. Okay. That's one way. You know. Another thing you can do in these days of YouTube mm. and social media, life is so good. You just go and keep, you know, watch videos of people who are good, who are doing public speaking. You know, people who are just go on YouTube, watch videos of public speaking. Because one of the things you want to do is communicate. You have to like communicate. Mm -hmm. So learn to read more. You know, when you said something about who do you surround yourself with, please try and stay away from toxic friends <laughs> one of the problems of nigeria like, is that our people don't know how to talk okay. and sometimes eh, if you are if you are friends with someone who is called even if that person is a family member mm -hmm. and as soon as let's say you know i'm on the big size i'm a plus size woman 
Now, if you're my family, you know, you see me, say, Chai, now what? This guy is fat. <laughs> Just know that me and you won't have, I, I won't spend, because I don't need you talking down on me. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yes. I don't need you. Need you. No, like I tell someone, say, someone is fat. Don't see again and say you just added weight. She knows. She she looked in the mirror. She has a weighing scale. Shop, zip your mouth. Get the little girl and do. You know. So if you are around people, somebody says, "Hey, ah, ah, what is wrong with you now? You just don't want your powder. Look at your eye." I be, I be, I be, you know, eh, you know, I be growing up, eh, even at my age now, I still feel very strongly that the person who loves you has a lot of influence on you. Mm. You know, you know mm. a lot of us go out to impress. Who are you impressing? What is he or she telling you? I mean, right. I say it today and I say, I be, you're looking so sweet. And you know, I'm being sincere about my comments. I'm being sincere about my comments. And today, in today's world, you see a lot of organic products. I don't want to say, I don't want to talk down on anybody. People are making efforts to look fair. Thank God I'm not fair. <laughs> Who are you getting fair for? For a guy that is not ready to bleach his skin? Yeah. He's busy buying you things to bleach. I mean, what are you, and at the end of the day, who suffers the health risks? It's a woman. Yes. For me, it's, it's, about, it's about your friends. Who is your friend? Any person who is your friend, be it a male or female, who doesn't make you feel good, feel great, feel confident, that person is not supposed to be your friend. You're correct. All right. Um, we're going to open the phone lines right now so that you can call in and ask Miss Ibim questions and also answer. Mrs. Ibim. Ibim. <laughs> when you say Miss. So, the mother of four abuse. Mrs. About Mrs. Ibim. <laughs> grandmother. Semi Natari. I like this name, Semi Natari. <laughs> so, you can, you can ask our questions and also ask Auntie Oni. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Auntie Oni, for the correction. Uh, because, um, uh, because somebody may see you. <laughs> but I'm right away. <laughs> My apologies, ma'am. <laughs> so, the numbers to call are 0808 182 6949 or 0811 605 2949. Call in or you go to Facebook page, of course, the Hats to Build Initiative. It's the page you want to go right now and like and also go through some of the programs and the topics that have been handled by our previous guests. And I'm sure you will be getting real value on that you page. Become more confident. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Flow 949, um, 949 FM is the page you want to go to also to join the conversation or drop your own contribution on how to build confidence and self-esteem. All right. Um, while we wait for the calls, because I'm sorry, <laughs> some people have already been calling before, but we couldn't just pick the calls. Pick the calls then. All right. I'm going to go to a very um, interesting question, ma'am. Um, building from the question, it looks like um, confidence and self-esteem is continuous. Oh yes. Oh yes. You know. Every time. You know. I mean, let me say something so that people don't even think that there's this perfect state where you no longer lose your okay. self-esteem. Sorry, excuse me, ma'am. Hello. Yes. And um, we have someone on the line. Hello. Hello. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? CJ, I'm calling from Miami. CJ. Yeah. Are you confident? <laughs> <laughs> CJ, how are you today? Good time, good time. Welcome to the program. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Yes, right. I've been wonderful to be here now. Thank you. So what's your yeah. what's your self-confidence like? What is your self-esteem like if you're asked to rate yourself? I, I rate myself um, 80. Mm -hmm. ah, I like that. <laughs> Ivy, are you listening? <laughs> CJ, 80. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> okay, thank you, ma. Because there's always room for learning. Yeah. We keep learning and improving ourselves. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not easy when we, when, when we are growing up, you know. Growing up in, in the family of uh, with your mom and your dad, they are not educated, you know, and all that. So it's not easy to just thank God for what we have to do. But I mean, it's not easy, you know, between our self confidence and our self. But thank God to do. I can stand and you know talk, you know, the confidence is here. I can fix anything. I'm clapping for you, CJ. I've been I'm candy for you in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. All right, CJ, I just have one question for you. I have a question for you. Was there any time you ever okay. had a low self esteem? Or yes, yes. 
Okay. Yes, when I was in um, my son was in SS3. Okay. When I was in SS3, we were having a person in, in, in the school and we invited the mother school to come to us. Okay. So there was only one particular school and this little girl was in primary school. <laughs> and I know that time I cannot stand in the car and talk. Mm. Uh, and they said that uh, I have to come and, uh, you know, address <laughs> people uh, as the, uh, as one of the people, I uh, have to come and, you know, welcome the guests. And fear catch you. Because, what, what, am I, what, what am I going to do? It's like, did you ever seem to open a room to sell us? I don't know. <laughs> did you disappear? I, I, I said, wait, wait. Did you disappear? <laughs> I don't know if I feel okay. But um the 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 that's great. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I hope you got to buy that little girl something because she really is behind your inspiration. <laughs> yes. Thank you, CJ, for calling. I wanted to get that I could have been because of that. Thank you, CJ, for calling. Yes, so Wow. I look at that. Um uh, just being inspired by someone that is younger yeah, and yeah. Um, and I'm also a girl. Steam. I'm also a girl. It's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, ma'am. I I wanted to ask um, before the call came in. Uh, okay, we have another. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> oh, please, when you're calling, step away from the radio set, please. Yes, we are here and. Our great, great personalities are here to answer the questions, but please step away from the radio sets. All right, um, now um, I, I was asking you a question. Um, the topic building confidence and self esteem it looks like it's continuous. It's is it like for every stage in life, there's there's a level of confidence you need to build? I, I don't know. Yeah, so you know, like I was saying, your self esteem, you know. Um, you could have good self-esteem but still have situations where your confidence drops. It's Let's say for instance mm -hmm. you're about to take an examination and you haven't prepared for that exam. You're going to have issues of being confident in yourself. Okay. You know, because you're worried. When you're preparing for an interview and it's for a higher level position. So you're already in a position but you're going for a higher level position. Once in a while, you might have issues of confidence where you think, oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, or you walk into that interview and you saw someone on the panel who some time ago you and the person had had a quarrel. <laughs> and immediately it will have, like it or not, something will happen to your confidence level. To exactly. Go, oh, this man might hit at me. Mm -hmm. So you have to quickly be able to build back that confidence up and say, well, I prepared for this interview. And I have my answers ready to go. Exactly. So there are many instances where your self-esteem may still be where it should be, good self-esteem, everything, but you might have your self-confidence dropping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, this topic is building. It means that, well, you know, it's like when you had said, you have to be intentional in these it. things. You're consistently improving yourself, consistently hoping for the best, consistently trying to outperform yourself. And the people, people who are self-confident, it's not like they never fail. Mm. It's just that failure doesn't define them. Mm -hmm. ah. You don't allow your lack of success at anything define you. That's so you make a mistake. Your mistakes don't define you. Mm. You know, you don't allow your mistakes define you. You don't allow failures define you. You don't allow your inability to achieve a goal define you. Mm -hmm. You go back, recalibrate, and get back on the horse. So it's like you fall off the horse and you turn right back home. Exactly, without anyone that's asking really what, to head up. That's yeah. really what yeah. self-confidence is. Yes. Building your self-confidence is you fall off the horse and you get right back on it. Mm -hmm. You find people, good polo players are like that. Right? They fall off, they get back on, they continue the game. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're talking about here. Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, Antonio, I'm going to ask, um, mm -hmm. are there dangers of having low self-esteem and confidence? 
Many yeah. dangers. Many dangers, both physical and mental. Can you optimize? You know, um, let's. <laughs> you lose sleep, one. Okay. You lose sleep. At times, you become sick because you're losing sleep. You become so emotionally traumatized that you feel the help, all the. Help, so nothing is working again for you, and you want to die. Hmm. So oftentimes, it can lead to suicide. It can lead to uh, substance abuse. Do you understand? You just want to feel, you just want to feel high or just forget about this world, you know. And uh, you get withdrawn. You get withdrawn. You begin to lose appetite. I mean, something that actually interests you is no more interest in you. They bring food you don't want. They, in short, you, you hate everything about life and living. Hmm. And uh, does it pay? No, that's why it is the missing link. The missing link tells you that we all need one another, either to complete us or to complement us. Nobody has it all. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. You heard it from Auntie Oni and Dean Ibn Seminatari. They have been doing great justice to the question of building confidence and self-esteem. I, I want to um, come from an angle right now. So anyone who is listening right now, you have to pick those next lines that you, they are going to mention because want them to talk from their experiences right now. <laughs> Jam, I want you to talk about one particular time that you had low self-esteem and what you did to come out. Let someone hear it. This one is no longer the one that you get to tell someone read. Do that one. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a shot. In fact, mm -hmm. I can almost, I can almost read out a zillion times I had. <laughs> maybe not low self esteem, but I had my confidence levels up dropped. So what did you do? So I tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Let me think. Which of the which which of the situations will I start with? Let me start with. I try and mention to one. You know, I went back to school. Now, the last time I was in a classroom was in 1997 with my postgraduate diploma in mass communication. And my area of specialty is communication. Okay. But I managed a group of schools and I wanted to go back and get an education to degree. So I went back to school, okay, last year to get a postgraduate diploma in education. And even the trepidation of going back to school, now think about it, 1997 to 2020, 2021. And look mm -hmm. at the difference in time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So First, right there on the top of my head, I'm saying to myself, hey, what, what am I getting myself into? When, when last was I kept it in a classroom? Then I walk into the classroom and the seats are so uncomfortable. Anyway, so here I'm asking myself, I'm listening to class, and my area is English, so I'm doing statistics, and I'm listening, I'm listening to this, I'm saying, this is Greek to me. Okay? So, my self-confidence is plummeting, going down, I'm asking myself, hey, people send you. What did I do? I talked to myself. I said, well, well, you can't do this. Yeah, sure. And then you know what? I shared my fears with my children. Exactly. And they said to me, well, you are so brilliant. This is going to be a piece of cake. Now, you can't do this thing. Mm -hmm. You're the one who has with our homework and we're here. So maybe you can do it. So wow. I talked to someone else who trusted me and someone who was able to help me build my confidence back. Exactly. Because I could have gone to someone who say you can't do it now. Leave them. What I do with that uh, you know? degree? Then the mm -hmm. first thing I did was I said, okay, let's start a discussion group. I did something about the areas I thought I had weakness, statistics and group. so I had a discussion group where I sat with other people to improve my statistics. And okay. I found that as I started having that discussion group. My confidence started coming back. Oh, oh, I know this thing after all. Oh, it's not so bad. Wow. That's how I built it back. Wow, wow, wow. We have to go right now because of what how to continue. Our time is against us. And then even Seminatari, it's been a pleasure to have you on Flow 94.9 FM and yes, on the platform of the Mission Link. And Tionyi, thank you so much for being here. You are phenomenal. Oh, just before we go, I just want to say thank you to all our listeners. Mm. We had an awesome, uh, an awesome program last Saturday when we had official flag of, flag of uh, Heart to Build Initiative. Next Saturday, Father and I are going to be on the studio and uh, express our very deep appreciation to people and to our very great partners who are actually giving us a lot of go on. We are go ahead. We are behind you. I know we don't have time. Let's get out. And I think on Saturday, yes. and I know we're going. Please, on Saturday only, I'd like someone to give us 
you know, to, to narrate to us ways to build their self-esteem. And the first caller with the right answer gets a recharge card of a thousand five hundred. Okay, that's the way we do it. Yeah. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have to go now. Oh, we have you. to go now. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. You are the real MVPs. This is the missing link on Flow Night 4.9 FM. And you've been hearing the voice of Dame Ibim Seminatari, and who is a specialist in communication and an administrator. And of course, Antonio, who is also one of the founders of the Hats to Build Initiative, have been the person behind the MIC Victoria Chair. So we come your way sometimes, some station, and some day to have a pleasant evening.